Yay, it's recording now. Woo! Huzzah. What? You don't click a file, you type it into the bottom of the bar. Okay, I'm back, baby. <laughs> uh, today we're doing lesson 22 of Word. We're just talking about managing sources and controlling text flow. Now, there was a video that I did this morning about doing this assignment in Word, which is how it's supposed to be done. But some of you are without Word. And if you are without Word, that means that you need to do it in Google Docs. You've got to be able to do the same thing in Google Docs. So what we end up doing is we just do uh, slightly different stuff in slightly different places. And I'll show you how to do that as soon as I can here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and present the screen now. So um, I gave out in the classroom, I gave out uh, the W22 Try A document so that you can do it with this video. And if you can open that up now, that would be great. Um, if you have to, because you're doing this in Google Docs, go ahead and open it up in Google Docs. And you will have a document like this. Notice that it's got a little box here that says it is a DocX, which is a Microsoft Word format. It is not a Google Doc necessarily, but it's trying its best to simulate a <laughs> Word document. Okay. So um, in the textbook, it's talking about on page 291. If you want to open up the textbook to page 291, pause the video if you have to to get this opened up. But it says that we are going to insert a hard page break. A hard page break, okay, this is what's called a soft page break. If I move stuff around, okay, if I put an extra enter in here, then it's going to move stuff around. It's going to make the page break happen here. And this will be now on page two instead of page one because um, there's too much stuff on page one for it to happen. So it gets moved down to page two. But if I delete something, it moves it right back up. This is called a soft page break because it's malleable. It can be like changed up and stuff like that. But there is a way to put in a hard page break, which says, I don't care what you do. Nothing else under here is allowed. Nothing else after this point is allowed. Everything from this point on must go down to the next page. Who cares what you think? Okay. So let's go to this zebra. Uh, it says click right here in front of the zebra. Um, you can um, put in a page break right here. Let's see. So we want to put in a page break. Okay. Now you want to insert. Okay. And there's the break section, and you're going to put in a page break right here. Okay, and notice what happens. Nothing else from this area gets to happen. Uh, everything here from this point onwards is a blank, and everything else has been forced down to start on a new page, page two. Okay, uh, let's see how. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, so if you want to get rid of that, let's just go ahead and either press Control Z or just find out where it was that you did it and delete it. Okay, that is a quick and dirty way to get back to where we were just now. All right, now. That is a hard page break. When you put one of those in, nothing happens for the rest of the page. Everything goes down to page two. It doesn't care. If you put some stuff above it, that's fine. But if you put some stuff below it, nothing. It's not going to work. Okay, that is a hard page break. Now, um, in Word, you can actually double click on that line. Yeah, you see how it goes? If you double click in that little area, it un like it uh, just like kind of takes out that little spacing area. 
basically they kind of be careful with that. Now it doesn't want to go back. Uh, oh no, it's not doing it. Yes. Uh, see where it says uh, grade document or grade project on the blue bar? Yeah. Sticky. And we'll see, it'll tell you how you did. Huh? Yep. If you got if you got a whole bunch of them right and you didn't get a whole bunch of them wrong, you say next. All right. So what about this uh, photography tips thing right here? Uh, there's a thing called pagination. Pagination is basically a fancy term that says the computer is trying to figure out how to fit everything on a page and not put too much stuff on a page. So if it's got space for this photography tips, it'll put it on there. But if it doesn't, uh, well, you're screwed. okay. Um, so. In Word, there is a thing that you can tell photography tips here to say, hey, uh, stick yourself with the rest of this stuff down here and always stick with it and don't uh, don't put yourself on one page while the other one uh, doesn't get to come around. Okay, that is just basically um, one of those things <laughs> doesn't doesn't really happen. I mean, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, line spacing. Go to format. Okay, click on photography tips. Go to format. Hard to find these things sometimes. Line spacing, and tell it keep with next, which means that this par this title here and this paragraph that comes next, those two are going to be sticky together. And as you can see, kind of, really hard to see, <laughs> but this page is now, like here's the dividing line for the page. The photography tips are now down here with this paragraph, and they will stick together, and they will not try and separate anymore. Okay? Now, Another thing that we can do is called footnotes and endnotes. The footnote, okay, uh, there's a lot of stuff on page 292 that talks about like different uh, formatting things and different things that you can do for authors and titles of books and things like that when you're doing citations and footnotes and endnotes and things. But the general idea is that a footnote is a note that occurs in the book. It's like you've got some information but there's some extra information and maybe you don't want to put that extra information down because it's going to ruin the flow of your document and you're like, hey, I like the way this sounds. If I put too much information there, I'm going to lose people and they're going to get bored and disinterested and stuff like that. But I know that there's going to be some jerk out there who's like, oh, you didn't say everything about this topic. And you're going to be like, fine, I'm going to put in everything. Uh, but I'm going to put it in as a little note down here at the bottom so you can't complain and be a whiner anymore about it. So a footnote puts the information down here at the bottom of the page. An end note goes all the way down to the end of the document. And then after everything, it puts in the notes. Okay, so the footnotes and end notes. Now, uh, Google Chrome starts off with a, I mean, uh, Google Docs starts off with the ability to do footnotes. And there is a way that you can establish end notes, but it kind of like it's either or, okay? You can have footnotes or you can have endnotes in Google Docs. You do not get both methods, okay? That is not a thing that happens. So footnotes, pretty standard, pretty simple and easy to do. The book says that we are going to insert a footnote um, at the end of the last sentence of the first paragraph under the heading lions. So here's lions, here's the first paragraph. Click right here after the woodlands and we're gonna insert a footnote. Bada bing. Now notice what happens. Right up here, there's now a little one that follows the word woodlands. It means, hey, there's a note here. And you go down to the bottom of the page, and look, there's a little one waiting for you to type in glorious information. That will help other people understand more about the topic and also satisfy the whiners that have to know everything. Okay, let's type in the uh, footnote here. African wildlife. Found, oops, foundation, okay, colon, wildlife, whoops, okay, colon, lion, okay, it's telling you basically where it is that it found this information, okay, oops, I got another, I got to put one at the front here, okay, and now, if you want to type in a uh, web page and you want it to become blue and clicky, you can put down this less than sign, type in an internet address, 
and then close it with a less a greater than sign and it'll actually go blue and clicky all right so we're going to do the whole address here http colon slash slash www.swf.org slash content slash wildlife slash detail slash lion off okay and then close it off with a less a greater than sign press space uh now it's doing a web page thing ooh fancy comma uh and put in today's date 12 slash 14 slash 20. okay this is a footnote. It is a footnote because it appears at the bottom of the page. That is why it's called a footnote. Okay? Now, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. you can go to File, select Print Settings, should be here in Print Settings. Uh, Margins, options. Okay, maybe it's in page setup. Okay. No, it's not. Holy smokes. Where did it go? It was here last time. <laughs> Let's see. Click the wrong thing. Well, that used to be a thing. Maybe preferences? Uh, I already tried that once. So it does seem like we're having a little bit of an issue with this particular one. Uh, the idea that I saw, and it, it's worked for me before, but I'm not exactly sure why it's not giving me the options that I want now. Uh, but basically, you're supposed to be able to go to print settings, go to something called annotations, uh, and then say print footnotes as endnotes. Okay, And then that allows you to move the footnotes down to the endnotes, uh, which is basically down here at the back, uh, the bottom of the paragraph. Okay, uh, or the last paragraph. Now, that is how you do things. Maybe it's just because it's an old Word document that it's not allowing me to do that. Who knows? Uh, computers are funny and so is Google Docs. Okay, so that is footnotes. And notes, like I said, basically the same thing. It's just that they are in a different place. Footnotes are at the bottom of the page that they are noted on. And notes happen all the way at the end of the document. Okay, um, now you will see that you have a one here. Okay, for your footnote, and that corresponds to the little one here at the end of the paragraph. Now, mm, 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 mm. all right, so that is how that happens, okay? Moving on, uh, next, uh, we will go ahead and save our document here. Um, what you wanna do is just go ahead and the, uh, normally this saves really quickly, but you can also like speed up that process. You can save it as a Google Doc here, okay? You can also download the file as a Microsoft Word document right here, okay? And that will give you a file that is a Word document to turn in, okay? Um, also, just in case you were wondering, there is a way to do a version history where you can see 
like the changes that were done before the save last time, um, like what happened in between each save and stuff like that. That's called version history. That's right here. Okay. And you can also make a copy of this file or save it as a Google Doc, like I said. All right. So that is pretty much it um, for what we are doing today. Um, we will do citations in Word tomorrow. And then I'll also make another video where we do citations in Google Docs tomorrow. Okay. So hope uh, that was helpful for everybody. We're going to go ahead and stop the video now.